open our Bible to Psalm 93, verse 1 to 5. The Lord is King. He is robed in majesty. Indeed, the Lord is robed in majesty and armed with strength. The world stands firm and cannot be shaken. Your throne, O Lord, has stood from time immemorial. You yourself are from the everlasting past. The floods have risen up, O Lord. The floods have roared like thunder. The floods have lifted their pounding waves. But mightier than the violent waging of the seas, mightier than the breakers on the shore, the Lord above is mightier than these. Your royal laws cannot be changed. Your reign, O Lord, is holy forever and ever. Amen. Good afternoon, MCF. Happy 7th anniversary po sa atin lahat. And our theme is growing stronger, growing deeper, and reaching higher. For 7 years, God's grace and mercy never fails. And He is so faithful and He never leaves us, especially in this battle. Church, this afternoon, let us prepare ourselves and ask God to be with us. Because this afternoon, siya lang po ang ating pagpupurihan at lahat ng papuri ay para sa kanya at sa kanya lang. Amen. Church, how amazing it is that as all these moments, we can join the heaven in praising the Lord. Sabay-sabay tayong umawit at papurihan ng Panginoon. Sabi ng Isaiah 40.31 as our theme says, they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Sabay sabay po tayong awitin, everlasting God.
before we gonna go sing our second song, allow me to read first uh, First Chronicles 16, verse 34. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His love endures forever. God is faithful. Let us sing forever.
Good afternoon everyone. Isa pong magandang hapon sa ating lahat. And happy church anniversary MCF family. And praise God for today that we will be able to celebrate our church 7th year anniversary. Amen. Praise God. Do you know what the number 7 in the Bible is very significant? What does the number 7 means spiritually? When it comes to biblical meaning of number 7, we have to say that it is the number of perfection and completeness. According to the Bible, number 7 is the number of completeness. And actually, it is known that after the 7 days, the whole world was completed. God has done His work. And even number 7 is one of the figures. It symbolizes every positive and valuable matter in existence like prosper life, happiness, renewal, and perfection. So if you will still recall or remember from last year, March 8, our celebration, our six years church anniversary, at the same time, the installation of pastors Adele and Lem as associate pastor of MCF. If you will still remember, after that anniversary, the following Sunday when the church gathering was prohibited, that's the time when, when our, our church will be able to congregate. But we thank God for today, even though we will not be able to meet physically, we have this time together to celebrate our seventh year anniversary. By the way, do you still remember our guest speaker last year? Do you still recall? He's a white pastor and speak in Tagalog. It's Pastor Peter Baker from Ethnos, Canada, from the New Tribes Mission. And today, it is my great honor and privilege to speak to you with you as we celebrate this anniversary. God's Word blessing for MCF for the last 12 months and for the last 7 years. I personally commend the leadership of our church, the pastors, the ministry leaders, that in spite of our current sit condition or situation, we are still continuing the work of the Lord. I want to say, I want to salute for all the workers here in Milton Outreach, the Milton Christian Fellowship. Wednesday Bible Study, the Friday Youth Ministry, Men and Women Ministry, and others, and praise God for the, the for the ministries of this church. And God willing, we will see you all in per in, in person very soon. God willing, especially the, the, the vaccine, the COVID vaccine has kept on rolling and now started for a couple of weeks now. But today, our meditation, basically, for this special celebration, we will find in the book of Isaiah. As our theme for this celebration, for this very special celebration, is growing deeper, growing stronger, and reaching higher. Wow, praise God for this. Turn your Bible with me in the book of Isaiah, chapter 40, verse 31. Isaiah chapter 40 verse 31 I want to read first in the New King James version in the New King James it says in here the New King James it says but those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength they shall mount up in the wings like eagles they shall run and not be weary they shall walk and not faint amen in the New International Version, in NIV, it says in here, But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on the wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They walk and not faint. In the New Living Translation, it says, But those who, it says, but those who trust in the Lord will find new strength. They will soar high 
on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not faint. A very wonderful translation that give us more a uh, clarification or clearly what what is this meaning all about in this passage of Isaiah chapter forty verse thirty one. Actually, I I tried to I I look this in Tagalog. It it says in here, ngunit silang nagkihintay sa panginoon ay magbabagong lakas. Silay pag-ilangin may magpapailang lang na may mga pakpak na parang mga agila. Silay magsisitakbo at hindi mapapagod. Silay magsisilakad at hindi mangihina. May the Lord add blessing to the reading of His precious word. Shall we come to the Lord in prayer? Heavenly Father, we thank you. We are so much, O oh Lord, and so many things to give thanks to you. For the last 12 months, O oh Lord, thank you for your continuous provision, for protection for our church community. And even today, Lord, we will be able to celebrate another year in spite of this pandemic because we know that we are in your hands. But sometimes, Lord, we don't know about tomorrow. But we thank you, O oh God, because you know what lies ahead. And today, Lord, as we, tad- as we study your holy word, we ask, Father God, your, your, your blessing be upon us that you may visit every home, O oh Lord, that your word, O oh God, will uh, whatever your message to us today that we may be able to receive it clearly and may the holy spirit oh lord inspired us minister to each one of us today in the most precious name of our lord jesus christ we pray amen and amen and amen a wonderful passage year 2020 indeed is not easy I tell you, 2020. And it has been a year of unexpected and also filled with uncertainties and tensions. We started the year with high expectations, but what happened in here is a lot of things that happened that we did not expect. And the outcomes of the pandemic have adversely affected us. And even many lives had been affected. Even families, a lot of jobs and businesses were also affected, resulting the untold hardship in the lives of the people. But if you will see in here, however, we give God the glory. We give God the glory in spite of, because it could have been worse, especially in the countries. In the countries, and we saw the faithfulness of God, His presence in our lives. And we thank the Lord for all of this. Because we know that we are safe in the hands of God. If you will see here, let's affirm, reaffirms in the scripture. If you will see here in this passage of Isaiah, chapter 40, verse 31, says in verse 30, chapter 40, verse 31, or I mean verse 20, You will see in here the, the word of God. It says, my soul. He said, my soul is still remember and, and sinks within me. Then I recall to my mind, therefore, I have hope. Through the Lord's mercy, we are not consumed because His compassion fail not. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. In Lamentation chapter 3, verse 22 and 23. These verses remind us the faithfulness of God in MCF family. 
the faithfulness of God, the blessing of God. It is faith in His Word that we see, like it says in, that we need uh, like a soar like eagle. And we need to pay patiently. Because many things about tomorrow, and even I don't, I don't seem to understand. But it says, but I know who holds tomorrow. And I know who holds my hands. So in our text today, our attention is drawn on how we can live a life. A life of daily victory in the year ahead in spite of this pandemic. We are not losing our hope in our God. Amen? We are not losing our hope in our God. In Isaiah chapter 40, verse 30, it says, But those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. And they shall walk and not faint. Because in times like this, we require we requires the strength of the Lord. Can you imagine for the last 12 months, without the strength from the Lord, where are we now? What are we doing now? We have so many challenges. For the last 12 months, so many things that already happened. And that's why we survived because of the strength of the Lord. No man can withstand the uncertainty of the moments who relies on his strength. Hear what the Bible says in Isaiah chapter 40, verse 30. And go back in, uh, in verse 30. Our main text is verse 31, but in verse 30 it says, Even though the youth, even though the youth shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall, who do not seek of the strength of the Lord. So he said, even though youth will become weak and tired, the young men will fall in exhaustion. So, so we need to patiently wait on the Lord. Yes, it's very common for us to be impatient, especially during this pandemic. We are impatient now, like to see each other and like to have fellowship. And most parents, they are already impatient, like working from home, and they want to go back in their normal life, especially our children. And most of them, they are still in a virtual uh, schooling. But we need to wait patiently, as, the, as, as, the, as our main text. Takes for instance, despite the urgency of the Great Commission, the Lord Jesus Christ instructed the disciples to wait in, even in Jerusalem until they received the, the strength and power before they could launch out to win souls. The disciples also need to be patiently waiting the command and the signal from the Holy Spirit. Just last two weeks, last two Wednesday in our Bible study, here in, M in, 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 in MCF, in Acts chapter 16, verse 7, even the disciples, like Paul and Barnabas, Silas, having been forbidden by the Holy Spirit to speak the word in Asia, and that is for temporarily, and God has a purpose. But because most of our weakness and failures from our being impatient in so many ways, but we must wait on the Lord not only for direction, but for the strength to implement our decisions. Try to find time alone with God because His renewing grace is better experience in isolation and stillness. At the end of Isaiah, Chapter 40, verse 30 and 31, we read some well-loved verses that have encouraged 
the generation of Jews and Gentiles through many centuries of time. He says, youth, he says here, youth may faint. Youth may faint and grow weary, and young men stumble, but fall. But those who wait on the Lord will find new strengths. They will rise up high on wings like eagles. They will run. Say they will run, but not grow weary. They will walk and not faint. It is faith in His word, and it is intended needed to be soared with wings in eagles. It is trusting God to bring pass and even His promise to help us. My beloved in the Lord, church, MCA family, the Lord our God is faithful and true to His word. He satisfies our years with good things so that our youth is renewed like that an eagle of an eagle. God's grace is sufficient. God's grace is sufficient for all of us. For every circumstance of life, it is sufficient for every difficulty we face or any challenge. For the last seven years, I could say, MCF, we have so many challenges, inside and outside. But our strength that comes from the Lord and God give us always the renewal to continue on, to move on by the grace of God. Because His grace enough for all who place their trust, the entire trust and confidence in His mighty strength. We entrusted everything to God. His grace is enough for every event in our life. And His provision comes through faith in His beloved Son. It is the strength of the Lord Jesus Christ who sustains those, He says in our verse, who, do, who, who, who rely on the Lord. God will sustain us. It is our spiritual battery to depend on the Lord. Spiritual battery, it means we renewed by Jesus Christ. We have a limitless power. You know, our cell phone, there are so many times, especially if our cell phone is old, we need always to, uh, uh, to, to, to plug and to, uh, to, char to recharge the battery. We need to charge the battery. But our life as a church, our strength will come from God. It's limitless power enabling us to run the straight race and His strength and, 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 such as, and we win the prize because upward call of God from our Lord Jesus Christ. And this afternoon, in our meditation, in our main text in, uh, in Isaiah chapter 40, there are four ways of waiting on the Lord. There are four ways of waiting on the Lord. Let me tell you four things it means to wait on the Lord. As a church or probably a personal a, a personal application in your life because number one, waiting on the Lord means to long for the Lord. Waiting on the Lord means to long for the Lord. Look at in, 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 in Psalms chapter 62, verse 1. Psalm 62, verse 1, it says, David says, Truly my soul silently waits for God. From Him comes my salvation. And David in distress, David has some industrial strength problem, and he is saying, Oh God, I need you. You are my hope and my salvation. Do you believe of your salvation in Jesus? We always long for the Lord. I am telling you that you need to long for God. And we need God. We need God. Amen. And not only in this pandemic or when we are sick or when we are in totally deep problem that we need to, 
at to call on God, that we need God. In all of our lives, we need God. Not only when we have our family, marital or financial problem. The Bible says those who confidently manage their Christian walk by relying on their own personal talent, skill, and capacities, and capabilities eventually discover that their strength is insufficient for their needs. In time, they are brought the very end of themselves until they can admit that they need God in their life, that we need God in our life. So we are so thankful to God because truly He is faithful to all of us. Because of His strength and His mercy. When the believer truly identifies with His Savior and trusts in Christ's capacities, He says here, it is when God's strength is made perfect in our weakness. It is then when the wind of God will lift us up on eagles, on eagles' wings, and carry us through the life, life is stresses and is strained in the power of the Holy Spirit. So it means to wait upon God, means to long for Him. That's what David said. And that's what the Bible said. Waiting on the Lord, to long for the Lord. Probably a good example of waiting on the Lord is this. Probably most of you, you have your loved ones. For example, like uh, you, uh, your, your loved ones, uh, you, uh, you, you apply for your loved ones' petition. And then you are longing for them to come and the approval of their visa. And then once it was approved, then you are, you are longing for them to see. And then to see them when you are already in the airport, when you see your family coming. The same thing like long waiting on the Lord means too long for the Lord. Yes, we are in this pandemic. Let us continue to wait and long for the Lord. And we have this strength as God has promised to us. Secondly, waiting on the Lord, not only long for the Lord, waiting on the Lord means to listen to the Lord. To listen to Him. Not only does waiting means to long for the Lord, but it means to listen to the Lord. He, he, here is a great verse. One of, one of the good verse in, in, in Proverbs chapter 8, verse 34. In Proverbs chapter 8, verse 34, it says in here, if you have your Bible, you can turn it. It says in New King James, it says here, Blessed is the man. Who listens to me? Can you imagine that? Blessed is the man who listens to God, watching daily at my gates, waiting for, at the post of my doors. In the New Living Translation, it said joyful. In King James, it used blessed. But in, in New Living Translation, it said joyful are those who listen to me watching for me daily at my gates, waiting for me outside my home. Wow, a wonderful word of reminder. Blessed and joyful or joyful is the man who listened to God, who listened to His word. It means waiting at the post of my door. It means he who hears me or he is waiting and waiting for the instruction. It's the same like said, Oh, good morning, my master. Here I am reporting for duty. We are listening for the Lord. I am listening. I am listening, oh God. I, I want to share this to you. In my personal life, like listening to the Lord, like waiting the six months of relationship as decent relationship with my ex-girlfriend and fiance now my wife Atinida as I if I will recall in 1990 
And then eight months in 1991 as husband and wife, waiting on our gate every day. The doorbell and shout of the postman delivery about mail that I am longing for. I always listen and longing and listen every day and waiting for the postman to say, Lino, you have mail. And waiting for that. At during that time, there is no Facebook. So difficult in a long distance relationship. No FaceTime, no messenger, no text messaging. But our communication is just letter and even long distance. Telephone, but so expensive. But I say in here, what I want to say in here, I say, I said, I want to hear from you. God, I want to hear from you. And this is the reason that many of us are, are, are stressed that we are doing things God never assigned us to do. So many times, we are not listening to God or because of many obstructions in our life, we cannot hear the voice of God while we are waiting. But if we are sensitive to the voice of God in our life, so we can easily discern what is God's will in our life. Do you have time when you listen? Do you report for duty if you are doing things that you are assigned of yourselves? First of all, to long for the Lord. And then secondly, to listen for the Lord. Now let me tell you the third thing about in, this main, in our text. That before I leave this about listening and longing for the Lord, I want to tell you the story about during the 50, uh, uh, 1950s, there is like a great depression and jobs were so very hard to get. And so a newspaper advertised, a big newspaper advertised for a telegraph company needing somebody as Telegraph operator. So you know the before is a telegraph, there's no computer. And this man said, there's a, a certain man, he said, I can do that. I'm trained for that. And he went down to apply for the job. He was so happy when he got there. In the outer office, it was already filled with people who had come there and tried to get that one job. Hundreds of people. This man was so discouraged. He thought to himself, they were all here before me. And someone will hide even before me, before I, I've been interviewed. But as he said that to himself, he heard a noise coming out of the back room. As he listened, he recognized it. It was the dot and the dashes of the Morse code dot, 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 dash, etc. And then he listened for the telegraph. Then a smile came across his face. He go up from his chair and sit and went to the inner office, come back with an even wider smile and said, I've got the job. And said, wait a minute. How, how, how you can, could get that job? We were here first. And he said, you were not listening. He said, the Morse co code said, if you can understand this, come inside. So, you've got the job. That's how the company separated the room full of men to be interviewed. And there was a man just sitting there, but he was tuned in. I wonder how many people are missing the opportunities because they are missing what the great telegraph operator. So many times, the Lord is talking to us, but we are not listening. So the third point that I want to share this to you is this. Waiting on the Lord means 
to look on the Lord. To look on the Lord. Waiting on the Lord means to look on the Lord. In, 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 in Psalm 104, verse 27, it says, this, this all for you, that you may give them their food in your season. Okay, the Lord is speaking like of the animals and beasts of the field. That's the context. But in here, in this Thanksgiving, in this Thanksgiving celebration, our church anniversary, in this section, the little animals, they look to the Lord by instinct. They all wait upon the Lord. They are looking for the Lord. My question is, do you look to the Lord? Do you look upon the Lord? For the last 12 months, and the following day, we are looking forward for the eight years anniversary. Do you look to the Lord? It means, where is the source of your supply? Have you ever said, Lord, you are indeed the strength of my life, and you are the source of my supply, and you are my hope and my expectation. And I truly believe that every need will met in you. Someone has said, someone said that a college lecture is where the information that is in the professor's head. And the professor's notebook get into the notebook of the student without really going through the head and the heart either one of them. Are you listening? You say, yes, Pastor, oh, I'm listening. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure I'm listening. I need to listen to the Lord. I need to look to the Lord. But are you really listening? Do you really long for Him? As Apostle Paul said, My God will supply all my needs according to His riches in glory. So when we look for the Lord, waiting on the Lord means to look on the Lord. Look to Him, not to anybody else, but to look to the Lord. If we will look on the Lord, said, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. So when we, when, we, when we wait on the Lord, look. Do you remember the prodigal son? The father, when he is looking for him, for the return of his prodigal son, he's always standing there and looking out there when his son will come back. The same thing, we always look on the Lord. And the fourth thing is this. Waiting on the Lord means to live for the Lord. Waiting on the Lord means to live for the Lord. Let me give you the verse that point that out to make that true. In this passage that waiting on the Lord means to live for the Lord in Proverbs 27 18 it says here Proverbs 27 18 whoever keeps the fig tree will eat its fruit so he who waits on his master will be honored amen the first is the tree of life and second is the tree of the knowledge of good and evil and if Adam, Adam, Adam Eve used the fig tree to sew a tree or, or leaves to sew garments for them after they ate the fruit of the knowledge of good and evil and then when they realized that they were naked what does it mean when we wait on the Lord live for him While we are waiting for the Lord, the coming of our Lord, we must continue to serve Him faithfully. We will not stop serving. Continue to the work of the ministry. Of course, there are some uh, new things to do, but the work of the Lord must continue 
We don't know yet when we will come back in our physical as we congregate or to you know to have this physical uh, service or 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 when we come back to our main place for worship but we will not stop serving him if we will doing this for few still few months our online worship service and even our ministries because most of our ministries of course was we, we must uh, was hampered but we will not stop Yes, there's a little bit slow down. But others, other Christians, even they already stopped their fellowship. They stopped even attending the worship. They attending the Bible study. We must live for God. And even some other Christian, I'm, it's so sad to say this, that even uh, some Christian, They already stopped supporting the church financially. There's still the work of the Lord. And we must live for Him. We must live for the Lord. Yes, we are not seeing each other like physically, but the work of the Lord is still there. And we need to and we need to support the ministry of the church prayerfully. And even online fellowship. And also even our giving financially that we will be able to support the ministry and those who are in need that will be able to support them just this week there's a missionary who sent me a personal email because he shared to me that his home church stopped his financial support I feel so sad and sympathize with him I sympathize with him. Waiting on the Lord means to live for the Lord. And Apostle Paul said, For to me to live is Christ, and to die is gain. So let us continue to serve him while we are waiting for the Lord. As what our text, our main text. Let us continue to live for the Lord. Do you want God to give you the strength to fly like an eagle do you want god to give you strength to run like an athlete do you want god to give you strength to walk like a soldier day by day i ask why because i mean if i don't intend to wait upon him if i am not his waiter if i am not his server if i am not there for his glory why should god give me strength to glorify him What does it mean to wait on the Lord? To wait upon the Lord means to long for the Lord, to listen for the Lord, to the Lord, to look to the Lord, and to live for the Lord. And the final word for today's message. Church, MCF family, and friends, when a believer truly identifies His Savior and trust in Christ's capacities alone for his journey through life, it is then God's strength is made perfect in our weakness. And that is true. It is then that the wind of God will, will lift us up on eagle wings and carry us through life stresses and strains in the power of his Holy Spirit. And we praise God. It is when the spiritual battery is regenerated and renewed of Christ's limitless power and He will help us. And praise God for today's message. Indeed, growing deeper, growing stronger, reaching higher while we are waiting for the Lord. Let us come to the Lord in prayer. Father God, we thank you for your word today. We are so much blessed, O oh God, in spite of our so many challenges in our church, in our even our personal life, because we know that our strength comes from above, comes from you. And we are here even today, giving thanks and praising you for this seventh year anniversary of MCF. 
May you continue to, to bless the work, the workers, the ministry of the church. And we are looking, Lord, for so many things for this coming year, O oh God, as we celebrate for next year, 8th year anniversary. And our loving Father God, we know that our strength can only be found in Christ alone. Help us, we pray, in Jesus' name. Amen and Amen. Thank you so much. Happy 7th year anniversary again, MCF family. Thank you so much. Amen.
Good afternoon, everyone. Announcement. Zoom Bible study every Wednesday at 8.30 p.m. Tuesday and Friday men's prayer meeting at 9.30 p.m. Friday Acts Fellowship at 8 p.m. Saturday women's Bible study at 5.30 p.m. Sunday Zoom live, Sunday worship and service at 3.30 p.m. Tithes and offering. In 2 Corinthians 9.11, you will be enriched in every way so that you can be generous on every occasion. And through us, your generosity will result as thanksgiving to God. Amen. MCF members who are capable and willing to give, we encourage to direct your tithes and offering to Sister Lovella to, through e-transfer. March birthday celebrant, March 1, Brother Jethro, March 13, Brother Bercy, March 15, Brother Bong, March 17, Sister Norma, March 19, Lucas, March 20, Sister Kathy, March 24, Brother Brent, and March 27, Sister Maribel Mitchell. Happy birthday in advance, celebrants. Prayer request. Mark eleven twenty four. Therefore I will tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it, and it will be yours. If anyone is in need of prayer or any assistance, please do not hesitate to let MCF leadership and pastors know. And again, happy 7th year anniversary mcf may this church continue to develop the lord's work may its ministry continue for years to come god bless everyone hello everyone uh, once again that concludes our sunday zoom online worship service uh, but just a reminder uh, please remain because we still have a second part for our program for today because of our celebration for our seventh year anniversary. So uh, at this point, uh, we're going to proceed with our closing prayer and benediction. And once again, as always, we would like to thank those people who have participated in our program. Our praise and worship team, the psalm reading, the announcement, and even the special number. And of course, especially uh, to Pastor Lino who have delivered us the message for today. So uh, again, um, just remain for our second part. So for now, let's come to the Lord in our prayer. So let's come to the Lord in prayer. Lord, once again, uh, we would like to thank you uh, for today, for giving us the chance, Lord God, to congregate, uh, to fellowship with one another, even through this Zoom online worship service. Lord, we thank you for that message that we have heard uh, through your servant, Pastor Lino, uh, for giving us, Lord God, a good reminder and a good message, Lord God, on how we should wait upon you. And thank you, Lord God, for giving us those four, uh, four key items, Lord God, on how we should wait and how we should react. That we should long for you, that we should listen to you, Lord God, that we should look upon you. And lastly, Lord God, we should live for you. Lord, thank you, and uh, for that seven years, Lord God, that uh, you have given to our church, and uh, for using our church as a source of blessing, as a channel of blessing, Lord God. And Lord, we would like to expect more years to come, Lord God. And as we continue, Lord God, with our ministry, with our walk, Lord God, be our, be our guide, Lord God, and uh, keep us, Lord God, under, uh, under your wings. Lord, thank you once again for today and as we continue, Lord God, with our celebration, as we continue to listen to uh, some of the inspirational songs, Lord God, that, wor that worship you, that glorifies you, Lord God, be still with us, Lord God, uh, stay with us. Lord, uh, we thank you for your love, we thank you for your fellowship, and we thank you, Lord God, for the many things that you are doing in our life. And as we continue, Lord God, to pace with our circumstances, with our situation, Lord God, Lord, we ask for your guidance, we ask for your leading, your direction, your protection, and even for your provision, Lord God. Lord, once again, we thank you. 
And now, church, may our Lord Jesus Christ himself and our God and Father who has loved us and given us everlasting consolation and good hope by grace comfort your hearts and establish you in every good work and works. And all people say, Amen and Amen. God bless you all and uh, let's continue to celebrate our seven years of MCF.